Hi, welcome to today's video. Um, I'm going to take you through now how you use our WL70 long range Wi Fi adapter and our IK Connect wireless router to actually connect to a marina hotspot. So, the WL70 and IK Connect are a great combination, a uh, very cost effective way of getting long range Wi Fi on your boat. And I like to think of them as like a, a chain, um, a wireless chain. So, first link in the chain is your mobile device, be it a, a tablet or an iPhone or a PC, as we're using in this case. Um, that connects to the IK Connect wireless router. Then the um, IK Connect is connected to the WL70 through a USB cable and then finally the WL70 is connected to the marina wirelessly um, and that's the last link in the chain so if all those links in the chains are working then you get a good internet connection so let's start with the first link in the chain which is um, connecting your PC to the um, IK Connect which here it is, it's, it's all connected up and we're ready to go. So now we should be able to run Google Chrome and um, Google Chrome will try and probably load up uh, Google homepage but because we're not actually connected to the marina yet um, it will fail to do so so I won't worry too much about that. What we will do is we'll type in the IP address of the IK Connect so that's 192.168.1.1 because all of our control of the WL70 and, and choosing this, the uh, marina that we're going to connect to is all done through this web interface so we come to the IK Connect login screen and we're going to uh, enter the password there IK Connect all in lowercase and then it comes up with the main status page. So here on the main status page we see that we've got two wireless networks or wireless adapters. We've got the IK Connect which is creating your uh, wireless network on the boat um, and we've got the WL70 which is not connected yet um, to the marina so that's why it's shown with a little uh, cross against it and so what we need to do now is go to network and then Wi-Fi and again you'll see the two wireless networks you've got the uh, IK Connect all set up here working quite happily um, now if for instance I would certainly recommend changing the network name there um, from IK Connect to say the boat's name um, and also setting up your own password so to do that you'd go into the edit I'm not going to do it can go completely through it but I'll just quickly show you how to do that and then once you're in here you come down to here the uh, SSID you set that to the name of the boat for instance or whatever you want to set your network name to and then you go to pass wireless security and you uh, in here what I'd recommend is you click that to reveal the old password and then just go in and change that to your um, to your new password whatever you'd like to use and that will then lock down your any wireless access to your IK Connect which is good only the people that you want to connect will be able to connect but anyway we're not going to change that now so I'm just going to go back to the previous screen so network Wi-Fi and I'm going to now we're going to go to the, this the WL70 I'm going to make that scan now for wireless networks that it can see so we click the scan button and after a couple of seconds it will come back with uh, a list of all the wireless networks that it's been able to find and there's quite a few in this list um, the one that we're interested in is one that I've set up here I've just set up a fake marina um, network here called A Marina. Um, now this, there are two types of networks as you can see here. There's networks that are protected with a password, a wireless um, password protected. So that's typically home uh, office networks, um, quite often uh, coffee shops and uh, uh, restaurants will have a, a uh, wireless uh, network that's protected with a with a wireless password and then you'll see other ones which are open which appear to have no password and, and in fact don't have a password but what they are they're, they're called captive portal um, sites or hotspots and what happens is you can connect to it really easily without having to enter any sort of password uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second but then once you're connected to it the first time you try and go to a web page instead of coming up with the web page you expected it diverts you to the um, 
to the hotspots or the marina's welcome page where you might have to put in a voucher code or just register to to uh, to get online so i'm going to take you uh, show you how to handle both types of networks first of all um, we'll do the open type because that's the most common that you'll find for marinas so we just select that by going join network and we can give that network a name so say for instance i don't know it was we were down in brixham um, in devon then we would call that brixham uh, marina. just so that we know uh, next time when we come back to the marina it will have stored that and we can just select that as the network that we want to connect to and then we just go submit if you don't change the name there it doesn't matter you can just go with the default name uh, it's not a problem so it's now it's telling us that it's about to make some changes there's some uh, it's going to change networks so we're going to save and apply those changes and so now it's uh, going to go and try and connect to the uh, marina it's here we go it's telling us it's making the changes uh, configuration has been applied and now it should be connected and we should be getting a nice signal strength anything greater than 30 percent you should be able to connect to i mean when it gets down in the 30s it's it's a bit hit and miss um but certainly um you know once you're 40s and higher then you should have no trouble connecting um so we're connected now to the marina but as i said when we try and go to a uh to a uh, web page i'm going to try and go to bbc dot co dot uk um, now instead of coming up with a BBC site it redirects you um, in this case it's just redirecting it to my uh, the little page that I set up my hotspot <laughs> just to simulate what the marina would do and then at the bottom of here I just have got an accept or decline button but typically on a marina you might have to enter a voucher or put in your birth number or whatever the uh, conditions are so I'm going to click on I accept and now we should be connected to the internet um, and that's how captive portal um, type hotspots operate so now we should be able to go to Google and there we go we're getting yeah there we go we're online and uh, ready to do it so that's how you connect to a uh, captive portal type network I'm just going to now quickly show you how to so let's go back to the other tab the IK connect I'm going to show you how to connect to uh, a normal a more you know sort of more like you'd have at home or in an office um, a, a password protected so we're going to do the scan again and that's just takes a couple of seconds depends how many wireless networks are, are around but it does a, a full scan and there we go it's got a list of them so I'm going to connect to the digital yacht one um, which has got uh, WPA2 um, protection so let's join that network um, now put in the passphrase here um, so let's I'm not going to show you <laughs> what that is but uh, there we go, I entered that now. If you did want to see what it was, you'd just click those two green arrows there. Um, and then you'd click Submit. There we go, it's telling us it's got some changes to... It's telling us it's got some changes to apply. So we come down the bottom and click Save and Apply. And now it's going to disconnect from the marina. Um, hotspot that we were connected to and it's now going to connect to our digital yacht um, network and there we go it's done it and because it was the the only protection on this network is the wireless um, password now we are actually online so if I come here and I go to bbc.co.uk we should be able to go straight into bbc.co.uk there we go and that's it so that's showing you the two different types of of um, uh, hotspots you'll you'll come across um, in your travels and and how you use the web interface in the IK Connect to uh, to tell the WL70 which hotspot you want to connect to I hope you found this uh, video interesting and uh, do check out our other videos and also our blog at digitalyacht.net for more information thanks very much for watching